Yeah, thank you very much, Wendy. Hi, hi, Hagen. Nice to hi. see you again. Nice to see you. Um, look, first off, just what was your reaction uh, to today's game? Uh, disappointed that we uh, lose this game. I feel like um, the the thing that I'm uh, most di disappointed in is that we don't create chances, not enough. We have the ball. We switch, switch the play better second half than first half in switching the play, get them run, but we don't create enough um, to to get the goals. You said disappointments. How is the mood in the camp right now after the last two games? Obviously, these pl players take pride in how they play. Uh, and in both games, we had some fantastic opportunities. We played the ball uh, very well, but we, we don't finish the chances. And today, we have less chances uh, than against France. So that's... That's the bit that we need to work on. And the players know, of course, disappointed, oh, really? uh, but uh, digging deep to go forward. You said you were looking forward to coming up against top class opposition. Are you worried now England are a little bit behind other countries out there? Not at all. I'm uh, very confident that uh, next time we will uh, learn from this and take uh, great uh, opportunity going forward. Uh, so I'm I'm happy having these two games. Is uh, get to see all the players and uh, and now moving forward. I'm confident that we will perform better. And what's making you so confident? Because obviously the results haven't been great for a little while. How the player react to and respond to what, how we want want to look, how we want to play, and now it's more of the detail how we can get in the last third and create that chances because we know we own the ball a lot, so we need to be more resilient in what we do and the last pass to make uh, it's a, a good opportunity to create a chance. Finally, for me. Obviously, we want to know about the Olympics. Do you now know your 18-player squad going forward? <laughs> Not at all. Now I go back and uh, start uh, thinking about uh, yeah, players' position. Thanks, Aggie. Thank you. Thank you, Anton. OK, if people could start raising their hands if they have a question, I'll go next to Luke Edwards for the Women's Football Podcast. Hi, Aggie. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, commiserations tonight on the result. Um, Obviously, a lot of mistakes in there defensively. You're missing your leader in Steph Hart, and aren't you? And uh, she's a big misfit in a minute, isn't she? Well, she's been captain for England for how many years? So, of course, you miss a player and a leader. Uh, but I've, I feel like uh, it was more of a mistake today, than, uh, and you can never predict that. So, I feel the team effort was good. Uh, we tried. And we stay, we hold together as a team, and we fight. Even though one one goal down early, we kept going, and I I felt like we did uh, well in the game, except uh, the chances that we didn't create. What led you to make Millie Bright captain? That was a discussion we had, and uh, she performed against France. She played well today. So, and she, she's a good uh, person and a good leader. A final question. Are the team still searching for, during that transition period, are they still searching for an identity, do you think? Uh, I don't think so. I think all the players now know what we want, how we want to play. So now it's more to go through the clips and, and, and yeah. Whenever we meet up again, we will be, uh, we have less time, so we, we will be more um, delivering what we want and what's good and what we need to work on going forward. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks, Hager. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. Amy Ruskai for goal, please. Hi, Hager. Um, you talk, we talked a lot about defence in the build-up to this game, but today it felt like it, you know the attack was, was quite blunt. Why, why do you think we struggled to, to break down candidates today? 
Oh, that's a good question. We did we didn't uh, switch to play that much, so they kind of locked us into a side. Uh, as soon as we get the switch, then we created something. Uh, so we we did, wasn't able to do that enough, I think, and find the pocket with the nine and ten. Um, so uh, we were a bit stressed with the ball. Canada aggressive in the press. Pressure, pressure, so uh, that was the struggle I think we we had today. You said that you were hopeful that you would see England defend better in transition today. You, was that one of the positives that you could take from the game that Canada didn't really create anything other than the two mistakes for the goals? Yeah, no, I'm I'm quite happy how we defended, how the two central midfielder uh, react when we lost the ball, the, their positioning. So I felt like we were connected as a team, uh, and I was pleased to see that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. Could we go to Molly Hudson for the Times, please? Hi, Hege. Hi. Um, uh, I know Nikita Paris mentioned after the France game about fine margins when you come up against the top teams. Do you think it's fair to say that for, for maybe 84 minutes of this, there wasn't a huge amount between the two teams? It was just the kind of error at the start and the error at the end that made the difference. Yeah, yeah, it was. And uh, and that's what we need to uh, think of uh, when we go into the tier one uh, opposition. We need to be uh, more uh, rel relentless uh, in our passing, uh, how we can create the chances that we need and want, uh, and always look for the opportunity. Uh, to either go straight in behind in the pocket or switch to play. So when we did that, I felt like we uh, we looked better. And then uh, the margin is the the one that yeah gets us at this game. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. Could anyone raise hands if you still have questions for Hegger? No further raised hands.